There's no polite way to say it, but I want to just get it out of the way, so I'm going to come out and say it outright. I believe emails as a concept just sucks. It should have died when we stopped calling the internet the information super highway. So the best we can do today is to actually use an application that was designed for modern computers. I mean, iPads, because let's be honest. What's a computer? In this video, I'm going to show you an email application which is packed with features and is available for free on all major platforms. This app categorizes your emails automatically, works with third-party applications, supports email templates with placeholders, and rich text formatting. Let's talk about Spark. So let's take a look at the application. When you open Spark, you will be presented with this modern, very colorful UI, which fits very well within the Apple ecosystem. On the left, you have a navigation panel for your basic email folders such as Inbox, Sent, and Trash. The other less used or unused folders live in a different section to reduce clutter. Both individual and unified inboxes offer identical functionality to organize your emails. For each inbox, you can choose between three different views. You have the classic view where all your emails are in one unified inbox, sorted chronologically. The next inbox view is called the Smart Inbox, I guess Smart Inbox 1.0. This inbox area is organized in three different sections, people, newsletter, and notifications. Important emails such as this one about warranty claims show up in the people section. Emails about privacy policy updates and other kind of useless emails will show up in the newsletter section. And the notification section contains emails such as shipping updates, successful login attempts, appointment requests, and other notification related emails. Depending on the number of unread emails, you can also expand each of these sections to work through the emails in that section separately. Tapping on the check mark on the top right will mark all your emails as read and move them out of this section. If you have a few emails that should be addressed together, you can long tap on an email, choose the select option which will take you to a multi-select list. Here you can select multiple emails at once and apply any one of the available actions to all the selected emails. Or if you have emails that need to be addressed together but at a later date, then you have an option to select the set aside option from the context menu. While we're talking about this context menu, I have to tell you this, if you have an ongoing conversation that you will want to focus on and not lose a track of, you can pin a conversation to the top of your inbox. There's another feature that has really helped me keep a track of all my emails and the emails that I send out to people, but we're gonna look at that towards the end of this video, so hold on for that. Coming back to the context menu, you have an option to snooze an email. During the snooze period, the email will be pushed out of your inbox, but after the snooze period has expired, it will come back to your inbox with a notification as if it was a new email. If this entire system does not help you organize your inbox, then I apologize. I don't know how to help you anymore. I think we should look at what you can do on the main email page. The toolbar on the bottom has actions to mark an email as unread, reply, archive, forward, or snooze. But you can edit these actions from the three dots menu that is on the bottom right. Most of the additional actions require a subscription, but there are a few free and interesting ones that I think are worth looking at. Like this create a link action. It creates a link that can share your entire email conversation as a web page. You might be like, why would you even wanna do that? You can just forward an email like normal people do. Well, there's a difference here. The link that you create here just shows the latest version of a conversation, including any emails that were sent and received after sharing the link. Here, you can also link third-party services with this application. For instance, you can connect your task manager and create a task directly from your email application with a link to the email. Spark is an excellent citizen in the Apple ecosystem, so it has all the iOS updated features. You can open multiple instances of Spark, have a certain email open as a separate window, or you can open Spark in a mini slide over window. One area where I can say that Spark would be considered lacking is shortcut support. You know I love shortcuts, I mean, have you, have you seen my channel? Have you talked to me ever? You have a shortcut to open a certain folder in your email application. You can compose a new email directly from the shortcuts app, but it's kind of sad, they should do more. Speaking of composing an email, the create email page on this application is also extremely feature rich, who would have thought? Anyways, the two features worth highlighting here are the template and the reminder features. The templates are written in rich text with placeholder support. The placeholders are highlighted in yellow, which makes it easier for you to replace them when you actually end up using it. You can also schedule your email to be sent later. This schedule send is cloud-based, so you don't have to keep the app open for it to send the email at a later time. 
I hope Microsoft is listening to this because none of these features are available on a paid application like Outlook. And finally, we're here, the feature that I promised you about, the reminder feature. This is a godsend for people with ADHD. When you send an email, you can set up a reminder to follow up in case you don't get a response in a given time. I think it is one of the best email apps, period. I know there is a subscription, but I have never even considered getting it because this app does everything I want it to do and has 548 other features that I don't even use. There's a quick reply function. There's a Teams related functionality. You also have five gigabytes of cloud storage to attach large files. This app is just way too good. Anyways, thank you everybody for sticking until the very end. This app is available for all platforms. We'll link each one of them in the description below.